to more than life. Today, I don't even know a robot. Hello and welcome back. Do What's you up? Want to do the intro? What's up, y'all? Welcome to more welcome life. Welcome back to more to life. Talk normal. I am. Somebody thought they want to be a uh, news anchor. I am reporting live. Um, so today we are discussing our trip to Hawaii. We recently went, and we're going to give an honest review of our stay there. Um, some things we like, dislike, what we did, and then a few recommendations. So starting us off, I have notes, so we'll stay on track and not ramble. So what we liked, for me, one of the most enjoyable pieces of the trip were the people, the culture, getting to learn the history of Hawaii. Um, we had a tour guide that was awesome. Shout out to Ian. Um, if you do the North Shore, was it North Shore tour? Awesome tour guide, spit off the history just like that. He's a native to Hawaii, and it was an awesome experience to get to know the people um, and their culture. And for me, my uh, favorite part was just the outdoor, the scenery, um, the islands. Pretty when you get outside the, the tourist area. Uh, oh, the, we didn't tell what island. We were on Oahu. Yeah. So that's what that's Honolulu, the main, uh, and so you know our resort was in like the tourist area, but once you got outside that, it was very beautiful. So we did uh, several hikes. Uh, went we're, to, we're not right there. No, that's not what I like the weather. Uh, no, the weather. it's not the weather I like. I like the outdoor scenery, okay. outdoor activities. This is my spiel. You're not following. So notes. the different hikes and scenery and the ocean and waterfalls and just being out in nature. Um, that was my favorite part. I also enjoyed the food. Um, not necessarily the food within the resort. It was okay, but really when you got outside of the resort, um, outside of like the tourist part, it was some really good food. Y'all, it was like what we would consider hole in the wall places, but the food was delicious. Um, yeah. And I enjoyed, Cause I'm a foodie, he's not. Yeah, that's more so for Taylor. Uh, I just got basic stuff or whatever. And so, um, so yeah, so that's tell you get good food, seafood and all that. Yeah, good. Good. Now they pineapples are really good. So, um, the dough, the dough, dough, which all is, our pineapples, they do a lot of canned stuff over in, in I often say in America, Tell kept saying, we in America. When we was over there, Kyle kept saying, back in America, she's like, we are in America. Um, but yeah, so their pineapples are like freshly grown. Like oh, yeah. they have a their dole plantation. I don't know about that word, you know. Anyway, but it's like four hundred thousand acres, mm -hmm. and they harvest and they like pick them by hand. By hand, there's uh, no machine that would pick pineapples. pineapples. That's what they said. Mm -hmm. and it, yeah. So and so the pineapples are really good. And they ate pineapples on everything. Mm -hmm. They got them as a side for like mm -hmm. everything, even if you didn't ask for it. Yep. So a few things that we dislike. Um, very few people. I want to say dislike, but I knew he was about to say that. Call it what it is. I didn't like this. Okay, all right. Um, so the, there were certain aspects of the resort we did not like. Uh, we stayed at the Hilton in Waikiki Beach, the Hilton Resort, which was a four star, massive. Four but four star, star in resort. Hawaii is not four star like over here on this side of America. No, um, we ended up in a stinky room. Um, that was older. Lamar can stay anywhere. I cannot. I almost yeah. have like a, almost like a germaphobe when it comes to. Yeah. So needless to say, we had to upgrade because uh, yes. and then also too with that the pictures that we was False on their on the website. And I called when we them. called them, we was like, mm -hmm. hey, this is not it. Oh, well, we put the best picture that's in the, the room that's been renovated. It was I was like which room? They're like, oh, it's one section of like eight was the only like area. Eight towers. Um, so yeah. if you want more information on that, we've talked to some friends that plan on going to the same resort. If you want more information, we'll be glad to share. Tell you even which tower has been renovated, which one you need to stay in, and which one you stay away from. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, everybody did. so then for me, <laughs> not dislike, but when you think Just about Hawaii, you no, know, when you think about Hawaii, you know it's going to be kind of pricey. Uh, so Many people might not know that. Well, so a good thing for us, and this is going to be a video later, we got the flights for free through our Southwest. Mm -hmm. And so that was one big expense knocked out. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to upgrade to a room, uh, which, um, you know, that was an upgrade fee. But everything over there is 
an upgrade and it's high because it's Hawaii, everything is imported. So um, it's just, it's a lot, it's very high. Go to bed, Grayson. Go to bed. So for example, one of the, um, and I gave this, this, this example. Is true, this is true, more like. This is it. Grayson, get in else. the bed. Go to bed. So one of the examples I gave, um, I get a. So regular. FYI, we're recording this at like 9.30 yeah. p.m. Mm -hmm. And they still up there. They still just. Not sleep. They came down to 10 minutes ago. You didn't give us a hug. The only one that sleep is the baby. Yeah, talking about you didn't give us a hug. We gave them like 30 hugs already. 30 hugs, kisses, red books. We don't want to hear what you have to say right now. Good night. So one of the things, I got a sandwich. Well, I get it here. No, I want to finish with my price Oh, thing. okay, go ahead. So what I disliked about the price was everything that was upcharged. So we've traveled to other places and all, you know, this is not all inclusive, although it's all inclusive. Everything oh, is, yeah, you know, the resort is considered all inclusive, uh -huh. but it wasn't. No, so everything is high and it's upcharged. So like we had to pay thousands of dollars to stay in this resort, but when you get there, they still charge you a resort fee per day for mm -hmm. standing there. I'm like, and if you park, and then I'm like, but no, and it ain't like ten dollars a resort fee is like sixty five dollars a day. Mm -hmm. I'm like, on top of your stuff, like, why is there an extra uh, resort fee? They like, oh, that's for tiles and Wi Fi. What? That's for the standard included. Then it was if you got if you rent a car to park there, it's like seventy dollars per night to pay for parking. Mm -hmm. So till we just did a day rental. Um, because you end up spending, it was like $1,000 just to rent a car, mm -hmm. pay the parking, and not even going nowhere. So it can get real expensive really fast. And then we first got there, we got a burger and fry because we waited until we it checked in. We got a burger and fry cup of water. And it was like 60, 60. plus dollars. Um, and it wasn't even that spectacular. Yeah, we well, know. So it that's wasn't, why yeah. one of my recommendations is eat native food to Hawaii. Like we went to some of the restaurants outside and yeah they actually cheaper and mm -hmm. they you know taste and better. delicious oh man. so yeah price resort yeah but other than that like that was those two things i kind of dislike and i would um, say too but one positive that i will say about hilton the resort everyone there was so kind like genuinely kind yeah we met so many people that it wasn't you could tell it wasn't fake it was one gentleman i wish i knew his name i would shout him out too he walked us to our luau. He didn't have to do that. He yeah. took just yeah. genuine conversation. Because they try to upset you. So like while we was there, but it's it Hilton. Wasn't to try to like, hey, over. you uh, timeshare, beware! Don't do timeshares. He's like, you come to pre presentation, and I was like, no. But then he didn't just like be mad at me or mm -hmm. show me off the rest of the day. Because we have had timeshare people that really were rude to us. Yeah, when we, we, said we didn't want. Yeah, but he saw me like the next few days and would talk to me about his kids. He mm -hmm. don't want walked us to the luau, so. You know, our experience was like the people of Hawaii were just like very, uh, very, very, good people. very um, kind of people. Mm -hmm. All right. So a few things that we did, we'll highlight. We did quite a bit, but just a, a few. We highly recommend taking a tour. Um, a day, the, uh, uh, yeah. So they have these day. So Taylor doing all this, but I'm the itinerary person. I plan the whole. Y'all, I show up. So and he knows this by now. I so show up they with do the a, a day tour. I don't like doing that. Okay, Taylor. Shh, shh. They do a day tour, a lot of different companies, but mm -hmm. it's called the day tour of North Shore because you can go around the whole island in one day, about seven, eight hours. And so they kind of stop at like the main native places, waterfalls, uh, oceans, and they teach you a lot about the culture. Uh, yeah, so that was super fun. And we went on a hike with that. Through a waterfall, you got to the top, you got to swim and the waterfall and all this type of stuff. And um, just a lot of different things. They took us... Uh, and I'll be doing a reel and show exactly, like even give their website or information because I highly recommend that tour. Uh, we did another tour, a boat tour. I don't know what that one was called, but another good tour the guide tour. Um, through the Oh, oh, oh the Ranch. catamaran, that was catamaran, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. And it was cool to see, like we saw where a bunch of movies were shot, like Jurassic Park, 51st Dates. Um, so that was nice. And that had different package levels. You could have done a buffet and all of that, but We'll provide more details on that. Um, the hikes was Lamar's idea. Yeah, I like to get out and experience. I'm all about experience, being and out in nature and doing different things. Yeah, we want y'all those videos. Those we are those videos. Because yeah. what, Taylor's getting mad at me like I'm from Hawaii. I'm like, I just read the description 
these seem like they were point eight, so like a mile and a half each. She works each out. Each way. No, oh. it was a mile and a half total. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, right. you know, but they had some climbs. Some of them didn't have some as much climbs. traction. Uh, no, and I was going to do them back to back, but we ended up doing one in the morning and then and one later. And y'all, we did one in the heat of the it day. Was, was. But that one was like so rewarding. Uh, it was up the mountain, like uh, the Diamond Head State Monument. You know, we had to climb 96 stairs at the end after you had hiked that much. But yeah, so we'll share those. But that, yeah. the, the outdoor experiences were definitely cool. Mm -hmm. And I would enjoy, like the last day, I, I intentionally not plan, didn't plan anything. And we just kind of sat out around their adult pool area. Yes, and I slept the whole day. Yeah, she just kept taking naps. <laughs> I'll turn around, she just sleep, you know. And I, I read ate, a book. I read I a read book. And I slept. I finished the whole book on vacation, which is not rare because usually, because you like have like pamphlets. This was like a thick fiction novel, and I never read it those. Was it, it was, was over like, three hundred pages. No one. This it was. <laughs> and I finished it, and now I'm have a love for reading. I'm on my. I went to the library and got a second book this week, and I'm almost done. Look at that. All right. We also did a luau. They offer luau's all over the island. We did the one within our resort. I think several resorts offer them, mm -hmm. and some that are off, not off. Yeah, but once but again, it costs a lot. The luau's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm, it was a it was a nice experience. Yeah. Would I do that again if I went back? Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. I like the culture. Yeah, but I ain't paying that much. It, that little hour was expensive. Maybe we'll find another one on Groupon. No, nah, I'm just going to pull up a YouTube video. I'm going uh, to pull up a YouTube video for that hike. <laughs> No, you got to be in that. No, you have to be in the But culture. yeah, the little hour was fun. They had some good punch. Um, but yeah, so those are some of the That's things. That's all you there. remember? I remember the dance. Yeah, the dance was they good. They telling stories with their hips. Yeah, they like they tell stories. I wasn't looking at any other woman, so I don't really know what was going on up there with the hips. The hips. The shimmy, shimmy. Um, all right, <laughs> so then we're going to land this plane. Oh, that's one of the parts with the dislike that we skipped is not on the price in the resort, but the flight. It takes a long time. Like we had a good well, flight attendant, part of it. but that's just one thing just to be prepared for it. Like yeah. it was like a total twelve hour flight, and then like the time difference. So when you get back, when you yeah. get there, just to it was a that five whole hour thing. difference from us, and I'm still a little sleepy. But yeah, and we started school this week, so we're catching up. All right, so then recommendations. Recommendations Number one, is save that money. Yeah, if you want to go, be ready. To save your money. Uh, try to find some deals. Like for us, with our Southwest was able to get free flights. Mm -hmm. um, we did use a travel agent. We love our travel agent. She yeah. um, books us. We use her all the time. So we recommend that because we knew nothing about Hawaii. So it would have been like trying to plan something in the dark. Yeah, plan ahead, uh, save, look for deals. Uh, when it comes to cars, I want to recommend rent a car like the whole time. Yeah. Just do day, a day rental. Like make sure, because mm -hmm. a lot of the uh, excursions and activities it's included where they'll pick you up from your hotel if you stay in one of the main tourist locations, which that's where most of the resorts are. Yeah. So we and just they did. And have a, a friend of ours told us about it's a trolley system or something. Yeah, they got a trolley. Have. But I like to be control my day and not be waiting. So for me, a car rental was easy for one day. You pick it up at eight, you spend the and whole day walked. out. It was about a block or two away. Yeah. To walk um, to get the car. Yeah. And you can, they got Uber and stuff, but mm -hmm. Uber is also. Everything just high over there, but for us over here, but that's just the price over there. Oh. And another recommendation that Lamar is good at, he took the credit for already, and I was going to give it to him, is to plan your days once you get there. Um, Not when you get there, before you before get there. Before you get Because a lot of stuff uh, fill up, like when people, because people go, so like mm -hmm. a lot of the, like the luau and all that, you got to buy and plan that stuff like a couple of weeks ahead of time. Mm -hmm. uh, but if not, there's still enough it's to still do. stuff to do, but... Yeah. Some of the main attractions you do want to plan yeah. for. Um, and then we were told, we don't know this, but this is a recommendation. If we do go back, maybe one day, is to explore the other islands. So yeah. the island we were on, we were told is the most like touristy one. Yeah. Um, and with, with the most with population. A lot of people. Yeah. yeah. He said, I think he said the total population over there is a million and a half. And a million is on that island. Mm -hmm. And then the other half million is on spread out amongst all the other islands. Yeah. So. He said it's more, you get more of the outside nature, more to experience more of the culture too, and not be in a crowded area. 
Um, and we actually talked to some people at our resort and on the tours. They were they live on the other islands and they came to this one to take a vacation. Yeah. But they talked about how the other islands yeah. are beautiful. And the only thing to that point, like talking about being crowded, it was a lot more oh, crowded yeah. than what we like when we go for our couples because usually yes. when we go for us. Uh, and we go with our other couple friend. Uh, we usually do adult only resorts couple uh, or couple resorts. And so this one, Hilton, it's nothing not, against the kids, but yeah, nothing against the kids. We, yeah, you know, not it was it was kids. packed. You know, like the whole, you know, so I'm happy they had one pool that was just for adults, secluded, mm -hmm. and I don't think a lot of adults knew about it. Until another group of like young, like eighteen or twenty year olds, girl. and just like, eh, I'm like, y'all gotta go down with the kids. <laughs> but um. But yeah, so that's all I'll say. So if that's one thing about the Hilton, but they had the adult side, so mm -hmm. you might want to look for and something like that. And if you go earlier in the week, we went from a Tuesday to a Saturday, and it started filling yeah, up. Yeah, Friday, Thursday, it started Friday, Friday, Thursday night. Thursday night, yeah. But Friday was like Friday. But that Saturday. was like the perfect time to go earlier in the week. Yeah. So that's our honest review of Hawaii. Like I said, um, if you want more details, feel free to inbox us, text us if you have our number. Yeah. Call. But um, don't text me. But um, you finally got a share. you finally you got a glimpse of more life, real life with the kids. Real life, real time. Interrupting because uh, I don't like doing multiple takes. You know, I'm a one take shot. I was built for this. So um, you know, that's what mm -hmm. I do. So end cut. Okay. Have a good day. More life.